who is this? I don't know. I heard, I heard, I, at first, okay, you, don't, you guys don't know what I'm talking about yet. There's a pastor who is basically rebuking the black church. I, I heard, uh, and there may be a reason why I didn't want to use the other clip because okay. that's, that's my cousin. Oh! Uh, <laughs> oh! Really? It's Alfie's cousin. Oh, wow. She was like, if y'all say something bad about my cousin, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this whole that, thing coming down. But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what he said so y'all can react to it. Um, but uh, he, he told me, <laughs> this is my family, he told me that <laughs> he said this guy's name and it was a familiar name. Is his name like Sw- Swalwell or something like that? I don't that? know. I, didn't, anyway. I just saw the clip. Anyway, you got some. If you guys know who this is, let me know if you recognize him. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be, for more, the statement I'm about to make, I'm going to be called a racist. And I will be called every name under the sun. But somebody needs to stand up and speak to the black church. When the largest Pentecostal, when the largest African-American Pentecostal denomination, when that leader stands up and said, I endorse that woman, he was saying, I endorse murder. I endorse homosexuality. I endorse lesbianism. I endorse transgenderism. I endorse every evil that hell could prosper or bring up to the right. That's wrong, folks. <laughs> and the black church votes predominantly for the party that is anti God. What's going on here? What's going on? See, my statement to them is this. We, we, we've had them call into the program. Yes, I don't like it when you talk about it. Well, no, the problem is they don't like it because we're stepping on their toes. Hello? But I guarantee you, if 1860 was today, they wouldn't say a word about preachers preaching against slavery. They would trumpet it, and they should. So then, why will not the African American church stand up for righteousness and stand up for the Word of God? Come on, church. Come on. You can call me a racist. You can call me every name under the sun, but I am right. I come against you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't vote for somebody just because mama voted him or daddy voted for them, but you vote according to the word of God. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? Oh, he fumbled the ball. <laughs> <laughs> he came so, to your house, right? He came straight to your doorstep. So the, the, the thing is, is that he did an all-inclusive yeah. black church. He could have left it with that pastor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because the black church is so exactly. different. There's yeah. a lot of black churches that are of not Of course. Is he talking about Jamal Bryant? He probably is. Well, your, so. your favorite well, pastor. I don't know, actually. I don't know who the... Yeah, key, but that's, that's a good... That, that's the one who... But, there, but there's a lot of options. <laughs> but you know what? But you know what? He could have saved it if he had ended his statement with, and we can't endorse Donald Trump either. Mm, you see what I'm saying? True. Like, true. there's evil on both sides. And he just called out evil on one side. I'm not with it. Jesus, man. Yeah. I, so here, here's 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 my reaction. I agree with him. I agree with him. There's a lot of black pastors. Some in my family. Some um, <laughs> some that are very close to me that I do believe have have made uh, compromises yeah. along the way yeah. because party has become more important to them than their their Christian values because they feel like the Christian values that their party does support are worth the sacrifice. Yeah. I don't think they are. Yeah. The problem is, is that the alternative. So here's here's his issue. I agree with him, but I did not grow up in the black church. I grew up in white church. Yeah. So let me tell you about them. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where I'm like, how do you not see the the, the, yeah. the log in your own eye yeah. here? Um, yeah, yeah. I've I've been to one of the most popular white churches in America that puts country at, on not not maybe equal footing, but like just under Jesus. We had a night called America something night. 
America the Beautiful. Friday, or it, was, it wasn't like a normal Sunday, Wednesday, but it was a, it was a, and you may be able to figure out who I'm talking about soon. Mm -hmm. But it was a, it was a, a, a off night where every single song, talking about choir on stage, people in the audience, every single song was America the Beautiful. So it had a God message in it, but it was all <laughs> celebrating America, the celebrating purge. America. Yeah. And yeah. and I I saw my pastor bring up uh, politician after politician to push this idea that we need to control the government um, to get our way. But what happened in the midst of that, in this, this idea of like the moral majority was that those people who don't have your faith know that you, they know what you want them to say. Yeah. So they'll say what you, you want them to say, but they don't really care. Yeah. Right. And so they use it to manipulate you. And, and also what I've seen is people who say they love Jesus, who care about what Jesus cares about, but they don't, seem to care about us as much or our issues i was i was a person and i know lacrae said this there's a lot of other people who was a performer who got on stage performed in front of thousands and thousands of people but as soon as i say hey the situation that just happened with the young man getting killed um really grieves my spirit get out of here with that nonsense yeah mm -hmm. christ oh, didn't so deal you, with uh, you don't care issues. about what i care about yeah. you, yeah. you don't care about your brother is hurting in pain yeah mm -hmm. you don't care about that that's not important and and so it, you can't just say my side is completely right your side is completely wrong how dare you vote for that side when you're ignoring the fact that you nominated one of the worst people I've ever heard of in my entire life <laughs> yeah. as the person at the top of your party you're ignoring everything he's ever said and done yep. it makes no sense to me so the right answer is how how dare you black pastor black church accept these things as normal and preach it to your congregation and how dare you, white pastor, white church, accept the things that mm -hmm. you have historically for years accepted that are sinful mm -hmm. and, yeah, and preach it like it's the right thing and yeah. the right. Mm -hmm. What are we all yeah. doing here? Well, I, it's I, ridiculous. I, yeah, I would have said this. Um, I, I kind of agree. I agree with you saying, but I think the thing is the problem why black churches exist is, is because white churches didn't stand up for against exactly. hatred. You know what I mean? From slavery, from slavery to Jim Crow, the redlining, mm -hmm. to all these things that black people had to go through that were Christians that the white church could have easily came beside. No, I'm saying not all white churches didn't, right. but majority of them was like, you on your own, JoJo. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, I'm yeah. serious. So, no, I mean, right. so, so, so yeah, yeah. So, what I'm saying is, if we, and then also, like, kind of what Sean was saying, like, everything that's going on with black people, do you care? If I'm your brother and sister in Christ, did you come to me and say, hey, man, I, I disagree with the whole he shouldn't have did that with the cop thing. But if you're hurting, I'm hurting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what, why do you pick this opportunity to speak about what's going on in the black yeah. church? Yeah. We got stuff going on in the black church 365 days a yeah. year. We need, <laughs> we need funding. Yeah. We need resources. Yeah. We need all kinds of stuff. Now, he's talking about Jamal Bryant, first and foremost. He's not a representative of me <laughs> or <laughs> anybody else. <laughs> but don't pick this opportunity because somebody disagreed with you politi politically to come and try to say what the black church needs yeah. to do. Right. We, we, need some, we need a check. You know what I'm saying? We, and we need a lot of stuff that y'all yeah, got come through yeah. with that. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah. then the audacity to come and say in 1860, bro, yeah, bro, bro, don't even touch yeah, that. Even. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, don't, 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 even, don't even, don't even touch yeah. that, bro. Yeah. And, it, and and, and I, I'm not just being racist. I'm just saying that this and that truth is truth. White, black, purple, whatever. But it's just certain stuff. It's just ignorant and inconsiderate for you to say. You speaking on slavery and all that kind of stuff. People still feeling the effects of this kind of stuff. Yeah, and sure. you throwing your political preference that. in this conversation. Take that out of that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's just ignorance so, off the bat. So while you said it, uh, I'll I'll let you know what what um my, my family said. I churches set the stage for Jim and Jane Crow segregation, and y'all they have children who are still doing the dirty deed of toxic theology. I saw yesterday that one Donnie Swaggart, who Swaggart. is the son right. of Jimmy Swaggart, had the nerve from his perch of privilege and prejudice to stand up on a Sunday and call out the black church. Wait, what? He called out the black church he said when you support her didn't even call Kamala Harris by name but said when you support her you were supporting sin and evil and supporting all kinds of stuff y'all I'm tripping as this white boy is calling out the black church now let me park here parenthetically and hope that old Donnie tunes in Donnie come here for just a second because first of 
all, the fact that there is a black church is a judgment on white Christianity Thanks. because there would be no black church had the white church not been more white than they are a church. Wee. Facts. Oh, I'm on one tonight. I'm letting y'all know that right now. And Donnie, my sisters and brothers, had the nerve to call out the black James church got me because in this mindset, we're supporting Kamala Harris while the white church is, is supporting Agent Orange because somehow Agent Orange is the candidate of their God. I get that because their God ain't my God. My God is the God who showed up in Exodus on the side of the oppressed. My God is the God of divine justice. My God is the God that still loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You see, God loves the world. I guess who's in that world? Palestinians are in that world. Congolese are in that world. Haitians are in that world. Gay folk are in that world. The LGBTQIA community is in that world Alfie, Alfie. God so <laughs> loved the world and if you don't love the world like God loves the world to hell with you Donnie oh. 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 that's Jeremiah right part too uh, alright so you, you see what I'm saying yeah. again I yes a lot of what you say is good family but again there's there's always this like this little nod this little nod to an agenda that yes yes there's there's a world that he loves he loves every single person in yeah. this world but it, it it would be it would be ignorant to not acknowledge that there are a group of people in this world that are actively trying to get you to not believe in god that are actively trying to get you to go against what god said right so yes those god loves each and every one of them we need to learn how to live uh, uh with everybody in peace but to ignore the fact that there is a group of people that are actively against us mm -hmm. and they are actively infiltrating your party right now and winning is is to me you can't you can't ignore that i'm seeing too many pastors make compromises in that area from the pulpit yeah a lot of people that i i've i've met uh, they've been instrumental in my life that are now in congress that are now leading major major churches i'm like why are you letting that in here mm -hmm. just yeah. because you want to be a part of this thing and it's like it's not worth it. So the, I, what I'm saying is I'm seeing Christians compromise on on both sides of this. I've grown up on, in both worlds and I'm seeing like, why are y'all ignoring this? Why are y'all ignoring this? Mm -hmm. These conversations, first of all, this East Coast, West Coast beef that's happening. This should be happening in private behind the scenes was, in a room yeah. where we, we hash these things out and get this stuff right because there's sin on both sides of this. Um, it's, it's sad that it's spilling out into into public like this, but yeah. it's a huge problem. Yeah, because I saw that on, I think, one of those shave room type blogs that I saw <clears throat> the white pad with Donnie talking and stuff. So I mean I saw that on there, and you know that that ain't there to, for the church to be edified. That's there to be like that white. Yo, why y'all listening to that white man religion? Why y'all? You know what I mean? So yeah, it's just it's just you know the enemy could use what he want to use to get people um hyped up and stuff. But I mean at the end of the day, man, um that's why I always hate election year because I feel like it just brings the worst no, out of people. Awful. It's and, ugly right now. Yeah. If you're an unbliever watching this right now, it's ugly as a mug. It's yeah. like, man, they got the black church, they got the white church, they got 400 different denominations, yeah. they got all kind of confusion and stuff yeah. going on. And that's my whole point. It's like black church, white church, it's like the black jobs. I didn't know jobs, you know what I'm saying? Hey, color. <laughs> like, it just, it's just the ignorance for me. And then not it's the lack of integrity. It's, it's the lack of knowledge of history and why things are the way they are. People just speaking out of their emotions and their preference. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, people are looking, trying to figure out what's the truth. Like, who should I be following? What's real and what's not? You see this ignorance coming across social media. We insulting each other. We calling each other names. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, the black guy, he said some good stuff, but he ain't had to call the man Agent Orange <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they're being real. Like, yeah. That we don't have to do all that, you know what I'm saying? But now it's the black, white, the white is, and we cause more division amongst ourselves, trying to get folks to come together. It just don't make sense. Um, uh, also, if if you are wanting to, like, let's say you're a Christian, like I hope all of us, I hope every Christian, this is not like an easy. This should be. This is a hard situation. If you think this yeah. is obvious, this, I don't. I don't get yeah. what how you work with God. This is hard to me. <laughs> you this, work with you, God. You're 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 dealing with. Evil on one side in one way and evil on the other side in another way. How do you yeah. easily say, oh, it should be this? Yeah. Um, 
if you want to hear a, a, to me a very good conversation, Lecrae just had a very good conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, between two brothers on opposite sides of the aisle that mm. really are telling the truth, and they did it in a civil way. They did it in a in a godly way. That's I'm hearing good. people claim godliness, but they're saying it in such an ungodly way, and I'm like, mm-hmm. what? How do you go watch? Go watch that one. That was really really good. Um, okay, so uh, oh my bad. No, I mean. Uh, all right. All, all thing I would say on this is that what you hear from from Swagger and and the, the other hands, the other pastor is that it sounds like a uh, the missing of a discourse that should have happened years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I said, some of the stuff should have been done in private, and just how we kind of angst and said, "Ooh," when when Swagger said 1860. A lot of us kind of, kind of, kind of swoo when he said "white boy" and this and put that little stink on it, right? And so <laughs> I think is. I, there's, there's, at the end of the day, there's really no black church and no white church that God is looking at. He's looking mm-hmm. at his bride, the mm-hmm. church. Yeah. And so when I think us as black people, just speaking from our side, because uh, we all here are, are people of color, we also got to take a step back to say, okay, once again, heart check, who is stirring this up? Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're, supposed to, we're supposed to come in and, and, and take over and dominate every area of influence, whether it's political realm, the church realm, obviously, the community, finances, whatever you, you got. But at the end of the day, what is stirring us up to make the, how we move? When we move, are we moving with God or are we moving based off our flesh? Mm-hmm. And so when we move, we got to make sure we check ourselves. Okay, let's move, but at the same time, let's not, let's not, hold, not withstand accountability from each other, whether he's white or whether they're Asian or whether they're another person of a different orientation of sexual nature. Let me move right with God. And so that heart check, once again. <laughs>